day, welcome to Tarmac. Today we're talking Jag, and not just any old Jag, the F-Type, and it's the P300. Let me show you what this is all about. So here it is, the beautiful F-Type P300. So that's 300 PS or 300 HP, that sort of size. Glorious front, beautiful coupe lines. And it's a jag, it's a jag, 19 inch feet, or paws as you'd like to call them. Fair amount of this is cosmetic, like the air ducting is. Actually, a little bit of cosmetic in there. LED headlights. Just glorious long nose. I love it. This is the R Dynamic. So, got some extra extra features, the blackened out grille. Bonnet louvres. Louvres. Lovely. Around the back, this is a uh, fixed spoiler, so it doesn't pop up automatically. But something that does pop up automatically is the tailgate and I think it's about 300 litres of space but realistically once you shove the spare wheel in really not much room in here I think you'd have to take this out to go shopping or chance it for a weekend away but stunning lines Look at it. This does not have a bad angle. I've studied it quite a lot now. Just nothing to put you off. Look at that big, big exhaust. Dad. I put my money there. Charge. Oh yeah, it's over here as well. Oh. Magical. That's cool. So, okay, so that's the book, but I'm not going to read it. No way, it's too big. Never will. So, that's where you can do the air conditioner, and you can put heated seats. Sorry, oh, under here, under the clamshell bonnet. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Love the clamshell. Under the clamshell bonnet, bonnet sits a two litre twin scroll turbo. So this two litre twin scroll turbo uh, engine, which basically has the turbos running on ceramic balls in there somewhere. Offers up 221 kilowatts and 400 newton meters, or obviously the 300 PS, which is the, where it gets its name from. It's 52 kilos lighter, the overall car, but most of it is saved around this engine. So it means most of the weight is just off the front axle which in turn makes it lighter around and more nimbler around the corners which is just what you want with this beautiful car go up why would you go up go up go up go up go up <coughs> go up go up Oh, you're a magical person because you made it go up. So, inside the beautiful F-Type, plenty of room. 
room, panoramic roo uh, roof here, which is unopenable but certainly lets the certainly lets the sun in. What can I say about this uh, great car? It's got plenty of poke. is very very coupe-ish very GT-ish um, you could go miles and miles in this and still come out feeling refreshed leather steering wheel of course uh, leather seats just leather everything actually which is I like the heated seats. and heated seats of course <clears throat> it's got such a nice feel about it from a driving position the driving position to the acceleration is lovely. The engine note is nice, nice and bauble as it starts to unleash its gases. Just tremendous. It's hard to find something you cannot like about this car, actually. It just drives lovely. I know what's hard to find. What's that? Two seaters in the boot. Yep. <laughs> So, yeah, it does lack a little bit of practicality, but do you really want to go to the shops in this car? Not really. You want to go out and drive this car. You want to drop down its gears, let, them, let it loose, let it make noises, let it, let it smile, let it do its stuff. But funnily enough, I mean, it's, it's still boasting 540 kilometers on a full tank. It really is a great feat of engineering, this car. Just stylish, good looking, comfortable. Oh. Makes you feel alive. Makes you drop down these quick short shifts and just let it rip. Ah, it's a jack! <laughs> ah, lovely. No, it's not a V8. I get that. It's not the V8, the, the supercharged V8 or anything like that. But it's certainly got plenty of attitude. Just like my son. Infotainment systems, easy to navigate around and navigation is obviously very good. Uh, will connect to all your usual uh, iPhone, smartphones, all that sort of stuff. Big screen, uh, the dials turn red when you go into Sport Dynamic, but to be honest, I've always had it in Sport Dynamic, so I can't really tell you if it does change colour. It really should change it. Oh, let me see then. Yes, it does. It changes colour. So, Dynamic Off turns the gauges from red to white to normal colour, but let's keep in our dynamic. Visibility out the back, not huge. You get plenty to see, I guess. But you really want to be going forward anyway. There is a little bit of road noise, but again, it's really overshadowed when you start to drop down the engine. So there you have it, the Jaguar F-Type P300. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you the next time. Please make sure you subscribe. We need the numbers. Thanks very much.